how do we know, how do we test for those organisms or how microscope. do we test those in microscope? Yep. Yep. Cool. And that's, <laughs> yep. 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 And it's, uh, we're, we're training a lot of people all over the world to yeah. do their own microscope yeah. work. Yeah. 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 Um, no these guys can do the microscope work, so yeah. you just have to make sure that someone comes out and grabs a sample and yeah. that that's looked at so you know so what's in do, there. When do we normally do that? After we've done the composting process right. and then we can put more in if we require. Yep. Yeah. If it's, yep. if so you look at your compost after you know all the heating cycle comes back down yes. as that's getting close to ambient you'd want to take a handful of that compost and really figure out what's in there yeah. Yeah. and then if you go hmm okay we don't have enough protozoa we'll make a protozoan infusion or we'll use okay. one of their composts yeah, that has really okay. good protozoa yeah, levels no, no and yeah. add it in just before you would be putting that so out we could in the paddock. So work on not buying so much in and working on a smaller application rate but a, mm -hmm. a lot higher quality compost. Yeah. Yep. Saying, basically. Yeah. And I think it's yeah. well worth your effort oh, yeah. to yeah. do that approach than to just try to make tons and tons and yeah. tons of eh, okay compost. Yeah. 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 So yeah. a lot more bang for your buck if yeah. you spend a little bit of time on something well, making a, a really quality. Because logistically, as you were saying, to put out that amount is a big job. So That's yeah. right. Yeah. 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 And we might do it this year, and yeah. I mean, especially on your really, you know, hungry, low fertility countries. That's right. So okay, but as far as a way forward, yeah. You know, yeah. so where do you go to say, geez, that worked. Let's do 14 times. That's the problem. Yeah. So, yeah. so if you look at the money that's involved in making that extra three tonne yes. and take a portion of that and putting it into increasing the, the quality of the, the three tonne, yes. I, I think it'd be a lot cheaper. But that's the question yeah. I've yeah. got. You're actually mm -hmm. going to be better off. Going to be better if off. If you can mm. actually maybe do a bit more testing and maybe buy in something like sawdust or wood chips or whatever is needed to... To boost that as well. Make, and yeah. it yeah. probably comes back to... Tiny to do a better job making a compost. <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Or just to do more um, like testing and stuff like yeah, through the compost. Yeah, like yeah, just yeah. make sure our temperatures are right. Make sure that you get to your 55 and not yeah, yeah. 48. Yeah, so right. Yeah. I, I'd like to see the emphasis making sure that this material did have the airspace in it when it yeah. came to making yeah. it. So rather yeah. than buy the extra couple of loads of, of you know organic matter in. That money could be spent on extra wood chip or sawdust right. to yeah. make sure we had the right structure there to create the right environment. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, we did know that, that we struggled yeah. with the temperature right. last year, didn't we? We did. We yeah. did struggle with temperature, um, yeah. and we that was something we we have to work on. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. that's why we bought the chook manure. Yeah. 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 So to help with the temperature. Yeah.